for my adventure on Vancouver Island, I'm taking 10 items, and uh, the number one, well, the number one and number two item that I have here are the bivy bag and the sleeping bag. The bivy is a US Army issue Gore-Tex cover, which basically just keeps my bag dry. And then this is a zero degree mummy bag. So those two work together. My third item is a bushcraft knife. You can't survive without a knife. And I wanted one that was made in stainless steel. It has a Scandinavian grind, extremely sharp. My fourth item is a ferro rod for making fire. Uh, it's just a great tool that'll continually make fire in this kind of an environment. My next item is my axe. This is a cruiser length axe. It's about as long as my arm. It's a, a two pound head on there. It's not a, not a very heavy axe. So the axe is just a essential tool for splitting wood. And along with the axe, I'm taking a folding saw. And this one has a straight blade. It's, the straight blade is better for uh, doing carpentry work and for shelter building. It allows you to do precise and accurate cuts. It's a, just a very lightweight, very efficient saw. For cooking, I'm taking a two quart pot with a lid, nothing really fancy about it. So I have 270 yards of 50 pound test and 30 yards of 100 pound test line plus 25 hooks, and I went with circle hooks because the fish stay hooked on them better on a trot line or a long line. The other passive fishing method I'm taking with me is a, is a gill net. It's basically out there working for you, catching fish when you're off doing other things. The last item that I brought is uh, five pounds of emer emergency rations. This is pemmican. It looks and tastes like dog food. There's nothing exciting about pemmican other than it's made out of fat, and fat and dried meat. So it's extremely high calorie, everything I'm gonna be craving out there. I expect to find a real sense of freedom. I've experienced that kind of freedom before in the wilderness. That's really what I'm looking forward to, to experiencing again.